Hey folks, welcome back to Ostrov. Just watching this black smoke come out of the blacksmith's chimney here. Burning coal down there. All the trees and the water out there and the reflections. I don't know, it just kind of feels like we're in the Swiss Alps or something. <laughs> anyway, this is our single smithy whose job is to do nothing but make nails. So he's our, our constancy. Whereas these guys are kind of making a little of everything and depending on their demands, they, they're all over the place. But he keeps us in nails. Um, what is going on this episode? I have no idea. So let's get to it. World map, we've got nothing in the queue. So no old trades are still waiting to come in. Um, what's happening over here? Did we ever hire all these out? Uh, market stall. Let's see. So you are waiting. You are not a thing. You're waiting. So two ladies. So we need two ladies down there. And a comic came in to take a good look at the weaver's workshop. Ah, I didn't see that before. Not enough hemp or flax to start production. I was looking at these before. So 19 and 35, maybe they need 50 in order to do their job. And I figured, yeah, there must be some more on their way in. I mean, these ladies are probably out there somewhere going to get it. But actually, no, there is nothing sitting around to make fabric from. So, yeah, you two can be about your merry way, which means we're not we're going to run out of textile here real soon. There's 20 there and 10 there. So let's send one other lady who's taking a rest out of there. And so we need more textiles. Leather, how are we doing? And all these things are going to going to fluctuate for a while until we get stabilized. We got lots of leather. So these ladies are going to be working for quite some time. That's great. Um I think I'm going to do something crazy this episode something that's probably going to drive some of you nuts i want to expand these guys into larger fields and i want four of them and i don't want to spend five years taking all these trees down well it might take that long anyway i'm going to take these guys out i think i'm going to put another field here and another field here and use our slopes for fields for this guy and that will be, we're, we're getting bigger. We've got more, where are we at now? We're over 100 citizens now. And there's a lot more citizens coming. And there's a lot of kids growing up. So there's a lot of people in the workforce too. Um, so it's, it's probably getting about time to go up another increment in the field size. And the way I've been doing it with the smaller ones and then combining them, now I'm going to combine them again. It kind of works out pretty good. There's a stray tree here and there. They're going to have to come down in order to combine them. But I don't know what it's going to take to take these out. Um, let's go about getting this emptied. What does that take? We have room for apples. We have room for all of it, right? I've got 170 space left. That, that works. I've got plenty of room for that and plenty of room for that. So we just need to get these out of here. So that means help over here. Where are you right now? You are going to work. In which case you're going to go down the list till you find something you need to get. And you're probably going to wander over and get apples. I would imagine it's not going to let me even touch those things until we've taken everything out of them. So let's fire off some more laborers to go haul these things to there and get that done. When these come out, we can set some more fields. And I'm also looking at moving these three buildings out over in here and or here. And I'm looking at getting cows and a dairy either in here or in here or here. So this whole area is kind of in flux. <clears throat> I want a nice approach to the area, up the bridge, up the pathway. So however we lay this out, I want it to look look good. So maybe cows are back in here, whereas these granaries, that is a nice looking building. That really is. That might look really good right over, where's that, tab four, you. 
So zoom in and a couple of them right over here. So as you're coming up, this would kind of be the look. Right about like that. But is there room to get the big market in as well as the other two? So that's something I've got to think about. Um, what do we got? Still, yeah, no one's wandered down here yet. I'm running it slow because I'm also just spending time thinking myself about what to do. There was a request to put in a, uh, a well and some seating out in here. And I'm kind of looking at our town hall right now with all the pathways cut around it and against it. And it's a little ugly right now. So, yeah, there's lots of things to be doing this episode that I'm planning on or hoping to do. And I'm sure the game's going to throw some other things at me to convince me not to. That's just the way these things work. Let's kick the speed up a little bit until it stresses me out. Then I'll slow it back down. Hello. Oh, I've queued up. Whoa. Queued up the clay pit hiding back in here. And two trees are left. Then we'll pull that out. I think, well, it could be that another windmill is going to go right here. It was suggested that's what could go in here. But I'm kind of now starting to settle into the idea of a mayor's mansion. Mayor's house over here. That would be kind of fun to design and watch all the uh, the landscaping grow up. Um, now, how did I click on you? I don't know. <laughs> anyway... Um, you are done. So if I say remove trees, who does it? Is that a whole bunch of this hired on with anybody who will do it? Or is that a forester? If it's a forester, I'm going to fire this all back up again and aim in here. If I hit demolish, what happens? Does it get angry? Okay, that demolished. But if I don't demolish it, then what happens? Hey, construction's completed. <laughs> um, there. So, can I say none? Need to remove all existing trees first. Yeah, hmm. So I'm not sure of the exact process of how that works. Let's give this a few moments and see what happens if I hire this out like crazy. Right there. And so far, nobody... Okay, now you're coming to work. What are you going to do? Are you going to take the trees down? Or are you going to sit there and scratch your head waiting for the, the forester to take the trees down? Inquiring minds want to know. Where are you? You're right there. What you going to do? Are you going to sit there? You're going to sit there. Oh, oh, oh. You're taking trees down. Okay. And all of you are going to come help, too. Okay. So that is working. Problem is, I don't know what happens as soon as it's down. Will that uncheck and new apple trees will start being planted? Versus if I had just said demolish. And moved that up into the queue. What happens there? So maybe we'll watch both possible solutions and see what happens there you orchard demolition in progress they were working on this one now they're all probably confused and don't know where they're working demolishing a building okay you're taking a building down you're pulling the trees out that building's coming down fast but what about the trees and this one the 50 cherries left okay so you are to undoing Okay, you are doing what now? Orchard not selected. And we pulled in 3,300 firewood. And it doesn't look like they're going to replant. So that is the best way to do it. Okay. So let's hire... Oh, that's plenty. Fire all of you guys. Oh, you're going to be angry at me. And go ahead and take those down. Let these guys do their thing. That means the loggers probably got to come in and make firewood out of this. Probably. Okay. So if I were to tell you to... Oh, there we go. So there's another way to pull that off. Okay. Just paint that in there. And 
temporarily we can put oh we we'll put three guys in there and they'll hire up real quick there may even be somebody living over here that's been waiting for a, a local job otherwise these guys are grabbing all the materials and loading them up in carts and hauling them off to get this built cool okay so they will clear all of that out you did not hire you did and it may be that we'll just let these guys have this as well. I figure something like this, they'd only make firewood out of anyway. Is the firewood sitting here? Ah, uh, here. Okay, so now I need to demolish this one. Firewood's sitting there. I wonder if it has to be moved out. If it does, then I don't want to do it that way. Okay, so you demolish. Need to empty first. Okay, there's the problem. We need to move the firewood before they're even going to consider it. Okay, in that case, let's just demolish you and set you to the front, and we'll do the same thing. You're going to demolish that one. This one I can't until someone gets around to hauling all the firewood out, which means I need a place to put that firewood. So put you back into the list. Eventually, they'll move it into one of the charcoal pits, but this will make sure that it actually happens. Okay, so with that, now you will still, unfortunately empty this, won't you? You will. That 14,000 we went on 10,000. I still won't accomplish my goal. Never mind. That won't work. Okay, well, then we'll just wait for someone to fill up a, a charcoal pit, and it'll just have to happen eventually. Alright, then. You guys are tearing this down. These guys... I'm, I'm curious to see these guys do their job here. So, you're there. You're taking a rest. You gave up. You're taking a rest. And you're working at what? I don't know. There's over 8,000 of each of those. But you probably can't take down a tree by yourself. Yeah. They'll get there eventually. All right. So you guys are tearing that down. Messenger from Refa. Let's take a peek at that. Uh, world map right there. Chickens, hemp. Do you have flax? You don't. Now we could use hemp to get our production going again. They are offering, so yeah, we'll bring that little bit in. Deal and thank you. Otherwise, they're selling wheat. How are we on wheat in the system right now? Uh, I clicked the wrong one. Right there, wheat. I can't scroll down to it. Eight. <laughs> we have eight wheat. So, and 60 there. Yeah, okay. Wheat is a thing. And it's going to be a while before we've got another crop of it. Before we get crops big enough to really keep them employed all the time. So now I may be going back to hiring them seasonally. Um, let's see. What am I doing here? World map. Wheat. Let's bring in... Where are we at? We're at 700 in uh, town income. So if I popped in a thousand of you, that's a hundred. What is there for sale? Flour. Let's go ahead and make that happen. Broadcloth, warm clothes. Ah, warm clothes. That's Marefa. Yeah. Over here, sunflower oil. 500, so there's a good one. That makes up for a lot. There's 90. Deal. And flour, 500, which is why we're buying the wheat to have something to sell. Deal. And that noise was an orchard just went down. Uh, chicken eggs, horseshoes, iron metal parts, flax. That is it. Dried fish. We do have some dried fish. Oh, good. Okay. So we'll sell that as well. So that was 60, 90s, 150, 225 going out. There's a hundred and s or coming in, 160 going out, and I want those warm clothes. So buying 100 every time they come in, and later when we feel richer, we may uh, double or triple that. Eventually, we'll start making it. Okay, so that's it for them. I think so. You guys, any of you come back to work yet? You're thinking about it. But not yet. So let's set all of these to be 
done as well. And I think I cut some of those other trees, but if this is going to become farm fields, then we're going to need those other trees anyway. So we'll set them in. Okay, so you guys have got your marching orders, and you will be good into the into the winter, I'm guessing. Let's turn you guys back on three and three, and we won't worry about forgetting to rehire you for the winter. You can probably slow down. We're now probably using it faster than we're making it and or buying it until we get all these new fields figured out. We just happen to have a couple of years of wheat crops in each year. So I kept them busy for a while. All right, you're available to do something else. Uh, what that is, I don't know. So ladies in here, yes, 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 and yes. All that is done. We have a couple ladies in here. We got three guys in there. We're still fishing, and this will fire off next spring as soon as the river thaws for a month. You guys are fully staffed. You guys are fully staffed. You, we didn't have as many trees to be doing. And they haven't touched these five. I asked that last time. Will they touch these if we have any jobs left that need trees taken down? And apparently the answer is no. They will do the jobs first. So let's go ahead and pause, pause, and pause, and pause. And they won't do any more tree chopping except for these five for a while and then I assume they'll head over and help out over here but I would imagine this is a distance thing all right what are you guys doing or not doing now you are working and sitting there you are working and sitting there okay what I miss and you're working and sitting there So X's don't mean anything here? <laughs> I tell you, the second forestry, uh, these guys are, mm, they don't want to do anything I ask them to do. All right, well, let's force this another way. I, I, can, I can play around your, around your limitations. I can figure this out. Let's pop in a farm field in here. Yeah, you want to play that way? I'll play dirty too. We're going to put in a farm field. From here to here to here. Place is occupied. What is occupied? Didn't like... Oh, too, too long? No. Place is occupied. Oh, we still have these materials over here. Come on, let go. All right, then we'll do something like places occupied right there. Okay, a little bit shorter. There to there. How far can I get away with? There. Too short. Okay, fine. There. <laughs> but now they won't do these <laughs> because I now have another project okay yeah we're just going to play games for a while that's yeah that's some games are like that They've little rules that are created for certain situations and then somebody on YouTube comes up with a situation that completely breaks the rules. All right, so let's get in here and play with this while we still have some some leaves on trees. Um this coming over here looks good. It feels like it should come out of here. How far I don't know. This doesn't look good. So if we were to you are fence number five. What is on this side and for what reason? There's kind of a natural road forming here. So maybe we'll maintain that. Come out to about like so. And there. Okay, you're there. And if you were to go, I guess for now, just out here somewhere, that straight pathway, 
Where's the fence? Right there to there to... If we did run a straight road out, it would end something like there. Okay. This may come out later, but right now it blocks anybody for any reason to have to walk through this. This will all go away. There may be a diagonal path later that forms here and goes around. But that starts to clean up the turf around it for starters. Now, many episodes ago, I noticed that there was a pathway, probably this one, that went up to here and ended. There was a lot of traffic going to the bell post. I don't know why. Maybe this is kind of a gathering place, like a bench is. I don't know. I, it, it never, there was never anybody around here when I was noticing it. So I never got to see what they were up to. But I don't know when that was, episode 5, 6, 7, sometime back then. There was a nice thick pathway that ended here, and it didn't continue on. Or maybe it was this one. It came in here and ended. So I don't know what function this serves in the game that isn't listed. But it was interesting. I would like... First of all, let's make that go away. It will, we'll probably put it back in somewhere. I want to play with pavement. You got this right here. I've never had a reason to deal with it. Might be nice to have a, a more dedicated path. Now, I don't know how far it's going to let me go here. Or how wide. If I were to take you to here... Yeah, too short. Okay. Let's go a little bit wider. Out to a little bit wider. To there. To there. That will put stone in there. And we do have a little bit of stone. What is in the system right now? Uh, the, the salt works didn't use it all. There's 1,800. Yeah, I actually bought quite a bit that last time. I think it was during that winter that I didn't record when I was just building houses. So that one can kick in and get to work. wonder how long that would take to build. If I threw that in right now... Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. They, they're saying, dude, we, we, we just... If I move you back, will you rehire? Just checking. You? Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> I caught him. <laughs> this one won't take long to do. I wanted to get this other one done so that I could see it down there. And then I'm thinking a nice well over here. At the end of it with a cross traffic in front of it. Well, and probably benches and bushes. And, and let's see, these trees here. Got three of these. Cottonwood, is that what they're called? Big ones, cottonwoods. Should we do the same pattern on the other side? In between the window and out the edge? That one and that one might really make this stand out. These may have been overkill. Or these two. I think I might take these two out and do something different. So that these are specific to the town hall. And this, these could even be evergreens or something else. I think so. Um, let's see. So that's going on there. I would like them to build it before snow. How much longer are we looking at here? Depends on how. Taking a rest. Okay, you're on your way to work. You're just finishing. Taking a rest. You're on your way to work. And you just started your rest. Yeah, so it's going to be a while before we get a full force of, of guys over here working. Okay, speed that up, and you guys are not doing a thing. All right, go away. Yeah, sorry, but that didn't work the way I wanted it to. I want to take these guys out, and you need to be emptied. <laughs> now, oh, make empty. I forgot about that. Oh, that's what I needed. Okay, well, yeah, if I had done that... Then I could have more easily emptied all the firewood out of these. I forgot about that part. Yeah, a little brain fart there. Eventually, there's going to be a farm field there. But it's not going to be for a while. Okay, so... This is one half done. 
we're there. Once the snow goes down, I'm not going to be able to see that path whether they build it or not. Yeah. But enough guys, this thing could happen pretty quick. So that's five people. No, you, we just lost one. We just lost two. There's three people. Oh, gained another one. Now we're at four. Yep, we're going to lose another one right now. Yep, he's gone. <laughs> Getting a drink of water. Okay, constructing a building. Coming to construction site. Constructing a building. And constructing a building. That's three and a half. We might make it. It would be nice. Um, trades all happened. Nope, on their way, just arriving. So we should see them pulling in soon. They may be in the woods. No, they're they were just they were still on the map, so that means they haven't quite appeared yet. And three guys working, lost another one. Yeah, we're probably not gonna get this done. So let's when are you two finished? Here. Taking, taking, constructing, con you're about finished. There's one guy. Let's shift over. So when all the rest of them come off their rests, they'll come over here and get that one going. Okay. Where's the stone stored? It's all down in here still, right? Yeah. Nowhere to put it. Nowhere that I have set it aside. We could do that here. Um, no, that's a stone storage. That's right. You can't do that. Okay. Now, still, the in the comments last episode, there was a debate on whether or not we should be hiring warehouse workers. So, when I first, I think it was in my playtest, I set up a warehouse, set some things, and waited, and waited, and nothing. Put in a worker, and boom, she went off and started getting her things. So I thought, oh, you've got to have a worker to make this work. I know you definitely do for these guys because they won't buy anything unless there's someone there to uh, to take the take the money or vice versa, to give out the money. So those definitely need workers. But others have written and said, no, you definitely, as long as you have workers available they are, or laborers available, they will bring it in and take it out and you don't need this person here. But the advantage is that ladies, for some reason, as laborers, cannot use carts. You are happy. Cool. So they always have to do everything by hand. Unless they are a worker, then they can go grab a cart. Why that is, I don't know. I suspect it is an old rule, kind of separating out men and women, that the men used the carts and the women didn't. Then over time... A, something changed where workers could, no matter who they are, and then the two different rules probably have not been compared up against each other yet to have that change. That's, that's my guess. Because if one can do it in one situation, why can't they do it in another situation? That's inconsistent. But it could be that, am I running? There we go. That that will change in time. But right now, with the current rules, she is able to go get a cartload if we want her to. So there's that to think about. Though she doesn't really go get many cartfuls and she just kind of sits there. So if we say thank you but goodbye and thank you but goodbye, they would be available to go out and do the, the charcoal and all the other jobs. And I'm, I'm enabling workers or in laborers in more and more of these buildings, even the warehouses now. So they would get temporary employment all over the place. Come in here and stock for this one person to bring things over. And as soon as that's done, so you actually, well, okay, you're once somebody hires, and we know that there are people who qualify to hire, then they'll start making it again almost immediately. But I'm guessing that the, yeah, there they are, that the carts have arrived, the Hemp is here, and we're going to get up and running again. Okay, demolition of an orchard. Great, that's all done. So we are into November. We did turn that off. They should be working on red X's now. Are they? They are not. Now, okay, next question for you. Will they not? Because we're only asking for 18, and there's 167. Unless it is a building site. Is that how 
it really boils down to. In which case, <laughs> only these guys can qualify to do that because they don't have an overabundance of logs. But that's only going to work until... Okay, so if I then cancel you... Uh, get back here. This one. Yeah, there we go. Cancel you guys and just do orchard, which doesn't give any logs. Okay, so in that case, you are taking a rest. Let me do a third one. Oh, there is. Just to get... They both taken a rest. Okay, well, they'll both come back at the same time. And we'll see if they can then take out X's when there are no building sites in the way and they have surplus for log pavement completed okay that looks good that doesn't I, I don't know if there is a bonus for walking speed on this in fact i could see where there wouldn't be that's quite bumpy it's not really pavement it's it's like cobble or flagstone there's there's ankle trippers in there so I can see where if they don't do it, that there would be a reason why. It's not even, which is going to drive some people's OCD nuts. I think it looks great. Imagine it being even, and then over the years, the grass kind of grows into it here and there and makes, making it look more rustic. Okay, I like that. I've got snow coming in one week. What can we do down here in one week? Um, let's pavement. Same idea. Idea. the width of the building like so and you can paint it oh cool so you can intentionally stagger it if you wish to okay there and that can go in later now I can see it so with that let's put in a real stone well I've never built one of these before in fact, let's get to where I can see this. Now, when I saw Stonewell in here, I didn't really look at the picture. I just said, oh, Stonewell and regular well. They're the same specs, same 1,000 water, same, well, this does say stone, but source of drinking water, maximum 1,000. Uh, one adult consumes 300. And if you get it too close to water, uh, low quality, not suitable for human consumption, trading dock's done and overused um, it will deplete and leave citizens without drinking water unchecked for production if you just want houses instead of of businesses to use it okay so with that and apparently yeah i was a little crooked so it's apparently the whole map is a little crooked there must be a, an underlying grid down here going this way by the way it staggers as it tries to fill its its invisible grid so when I okay 1,000 and the regular one is 1,000 and otherwise everything else here looks identical 300 units per year all that so it's the same amount of water it takes less space and it looks better I don't know if it has a cart parking okay we're getting a lot of stuff built and I want to do this for it winter comes so we'll just ignore all that down there but um i wanted to when i first saw or heard of stone well my first thought was that it was a stone well meaning i guess the base down there you can see stone but it's got this interesting little building around it let's go back to show always interesting wooden structure over the top of it which means it could go into an area that has no trees whereas you know an area that is hot and still be shaded and work out well um i think it could be part of that pathway a couple of taps right there what was that one a clay pit is done you guys are building like nuts out there okay pop that down and pause have they ever done a single tree? They haven't done any of them. Mark trees. Yeah. Hmm. Three workers. All work is done. Nothing to do now. 
because the 18 is maxed. Okay. And I can't store logs, obviously. Yeah. So I can't empty this. We need to make about 200 freight train boxcars full of firewood to ever get rid of that. So I can't get these guys to take these trees out. That's a dilemma. Tell me what you would do to solve this. I mean, we could build some kind of a building site here and have them go knock the trees out then delete the building site. Yeah, there's, there's that kind of a way. And I just might have to do just that. I mean, we could even get away with the stone paving, maybe. <clears throat> if I were to... Though I don't know if I need four points. Well, I guess... Where is that, the bottom of that other tree? If I went to there, to there, to... How far can I get away with? There it is. There. Oh, you won't take? You won't take. I guess I have to go here first then. So, here. Now. Okay. Start again. You to here. To here. Boy, you won't make me... You won't let me do this, will you? Interesting. I wanted to click there and then click in here and make... what I don't know what that kind of a of a shape is called, but we're going to have to do this the hard way, aren't we? <laughs> and it's probably too short. Okay. Oh, that was painful. Okay. Then you move up in here and I'll just have to stop you early. Okay, let's play with that one one more time. You are going to go from here no. From here, out over there, to there, to there. And move you up in here. Okay, we will just cheat the system that way. But yeah, let me know your thoughts. How do you force a forestry to take trees down if they've crossed through this limit that they're willing to ignore otherwise anyway? So, there is that. Um... Did you guys ever start clear? Yeah, you are. I think. You guys. Waiting for partner to help getting a log. Okay, so the third one never hired. You are cart parking. We could pull in at least two to start with over here. Is there anyone else, anywhere else to grab a quick worker? That might be a distance thing. That's all the way over here. And then maybe that whoever is doing labor work lives all the way over here so that might be a thing we could even pull a couple of you guys out for just a little while and see if that helps but I'm curious to see if these three you are coming to work you are waiting for somebody and you're going to work okay let's see what happens with that when they get there and are you guys back to working you are not giving me angry messages so yep dropping trees now Okay. Remind me to turn that off before they pave it. <laughs> okay, so I want to see these guys work before I pull out and go do something else. And did I miss anything else? We got this to look at. And the cart parking is being worked on. Okay, so you guys going to work, waiting for, going to work. You're at work now. You're chopping a tree. Which tree? I really want to know. What are you up to? Speed you up. And walking, 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 walking. You're taking these out. And you're calling them trees? Or are you calling... You're calling them trees. Instead of firewood. Like a different set of rules there. Interesting. Wow. At that rate... We're going to be years clearing that out. <laughs> ah, who was that? That was... Marefa. We've already dealt with you. Other than warm clothes. Which we could do. We're still in that 700 range. There's probably nothing else to sell you. It's been, it hasn't been long enough. Dried fish. 
Yeah, we can we can go ahead and do the 150. All right, deal with that one. And sunflower oil. Another 500 came in. Wow. All right, we'll just we'll keep dealing with it. You can handle up to 2,500. Deal. And flour. Now we're starting to where we're bankrupting the town <clears throat> because we. Well, the le the wheat is coming back though. All right, we'll do the 90. Deal. And was there a second, third, fourth thing? There is not. Though we do always buy the warm clothes. 100. All right, deal. And that might <clears throat> give these guys a chance to get some if they don't have any. Warm clothes. Right there. You did get the last 100. Okay. So it's you guys next then. Yeah, you're going to grab the next hundred. Okay, so we just keep staggering them. They, they eventually work their way into the system here and there. Okay, so you guys are going to take forever to take these down. But you're actually working now. Weird. And you'll probably stop at 18. You probably will. Hmm, okay. You guys are kind of being forced to take these down and you're doing that job. All right. So then when that's done, we can turn all of these back on again. And this field will turn back on again. And you are a sand pit. We can turn you back on again. And you are a fishing dock, which we don't need for quite some time. So you're back over there. This pavement is in queue for over there. Okay, and that could be fun to see, but it doesn't have to be done immediately. All right, so I think I've caught up with everything except for right here. And snow is coming in, but we'll just have to deal with that. Trading dock. So I don't really have the manpower to deal with this. So let's put one person in, one manager, and let's just deal with um, laborers for now and wait for somebody to come in got a manager to see what is offered us and we'll just start playing that one by ear and I forgot the kids did come to school and have you ever seen pictures more cute than this well well, my, my kids were more cute than that but yeah it's been a long time so. <laughs> but look at these faces wow so we've only got seven pupils. When I checked the end of the last episode, we had six. So it must be a very specific um, age. Twelve years old. So let me just pop through these real quick without them all running away from me. Thirteen. Does it say? Ten to fifteen. But with this many houses, boy, you would think that... And where was I that I heard that noise just the right depth there now it went away kind of a snow crystals hitting the, the ground or something or hitting almost like like snow hitting a tarp that's what it sounded like then it went away maybe that was a tree coming down maybe that was a frozen tree coming down oh no no guys don't don't oh man they're building it they're building it. Okay. I'm going to have... They're building it. They're building it right under the trees. <laughs> okay. Uh, we, we got a, uh, a stone uh, area here. I could demolish it. Oh, boy. We'll leave it there for now. This area over here has two trees left. And I guess we're just going to live with that. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Yeah, I tried to cheat the system and they cheated me. Okay. So, that blew me away. Where am I at now? I'm waiting for... Marifa is done. Alright, so let's think about this right now. You are the well. And... Let's bring you up to the top also. So no, we're not going to get a lot of houses done. And you are over there. I guess I'll just delete those later. Okay, can I... 
Removing one tree, just that log. Okay. Let's wait for them to walk over. Come on, guys. Walk over. There you are. Haul that away. And we're done. Alright. Cancel you. Alright. So this one, yeah, I could just put a cancel order in and, and eventually they'll get to that. Pop you in there. I want to see the well built so I can better put benches and things around the front of it. Um, you. You're still Marefa. And that is still happening. They're all on their way in. Okay. And we still have plenty of people here available. Uh, carts are bringing more things in. More things to sell. More things to... Oh, they just left. I was going to say, you know, I could probably sneak in a, another round of... Of... I don't know. Sunflower oil or something. Yep, there's another 500 sitting there. Oh, well... That'll give us something to sell in here if we decide to go that route. All right, so where am I? And I have not accomplished a darn thing this episode. At least that's what it feels like. Where am I at now? 40-some minutes? No way! Okay, well, then in order for me to accomplish anything, i got to turn this back down again. Because I can't think while all this is happening around me. I'm My mind is in too many places at once. I wanted to lay a bunch of buildings down. But I needed to see this stuff gone. And... If the big granary went in here... Where does the cow shed go? That's a long building like the big granary. Are they about the same size? It's longer. Okay. So this has to be figured out first. And it does not fit here without cutting into our pathway. And I really doubt it goes this way with a slope. No. So it's going to have to be over here. Facing this is a possibility, but it's not required. But I'm not going to get the dairy in there too, and I'm not going to get a sheep farm near here either. So the idea that the sheep can be milked to be near the dairy. So we may, for this particular map and all of these trees... <clears throat> If we do another farm complex over here, and the sheep over here, to use these fallow fields, we could dairy somewhere in between. So the cow shed and the dairy don't absolutely have to be next to each other. Okay. Then let's cow shed over here. You guys are building that. Great. <clears throat> cow shed. You, in that case, would face it, because I don't have to face you to the dairy or anything else. And it gets us that much closer to the well. Okay, you're in there, something like that. Do we want to cram it in? Do we want to give it this whole area? Aesthetically, almost touching pathways there. Because you're going to come around this corner and want to see the archway there. So you're actually a little closer to like that. Yeah, I think we should start drifting that pathway in. So you're actually this way, right in front of the well. I think so. I think you're there. Okay. We're going to get some more houses in beforehand. So these four will be next. You are taking these out. Which shows you almost done. So what does that mean? You just have to show up. And then tap, tap. You guys are... This is, these are their, win their warm winter clothes, aren't they? Hey, they're different. Some people have them, some don't. Interesting. It's almost like a uniform. Oh, we're going backwards. It wasn't almost done. It was almost beginning. Okay. Okay. So the cow shed is going to go over here. And I think that's going to work well. The hay right now is all the way down there. And I'm not convinced that's where it's going to remain. And it would be nice to get the big hay shed somewhere. And there is this triangle left over. How would it look right up against the back of the lumber yard? Um, that is in this one? Yeah, the big hay barrack. And you enter from an end. Okay. Um, that's We're going to cut off that wedge completely, though, with this guy. He's a little too big. Well, maybe not. There is that little notch right there. 
That could just about work. Boy, that's tight. But if they enter from the end, and that does leave a viable pathway between the two. Yep, let's do that. And you will be right after, not before, because we do have hay. So it's not that critical. It's just convenience. All right, so those two are figured out, and I want to get the granary moved so the next episode we can build them so that we can start emptying and swapping. Okay. Um, problem is where and how. I like the look of the two facing in. They could both face down so that we can see the front of the buildings on our way up here. Let's see what that looks like. Small guys, rotate you around to... I guess parallel to this right here. Right there. And probably parallel to the front of the, the farm. No, because I want the crops, the fields to start at the front of the farm. So I'm going to need some pathways. So you're actually more like this. And even though that is parallel, it looks actually really close. Timing it over here, it starts to change. Hmm. Nope, I guess we're fine. So a pathway in front of. And back a little bit. And width-wise, the width of the road. Alright, that's a lot to hit all at once. So now looking at the building, looking at the yellow rectangle. Width-wise, about like so. Pathway there and back a little, so we're over here. In that case, we need to build from here. Now that pathway over there is fine. So we need to build from here so that we don't run out of room. So if you go there, then you're going to go here. And that leaves a good amount of space. I think that's it. Alright. So you two are going to go there. And you're built. And I need to lay out... Let's kick the speed up again. Maybe we can finish this episode just as the snow leaves and see how things look. Um, I want the large granary now. And how do you orient? You can fit this direction if we want to. I wonder how much of you will show over the top of those buildings. Curious. Um, is there a way to... Okay, this is far down as I can move my view. You guys... Very bottom of the window of the of the town hall, right there. Okay, so there and you and there, right in behind. So you will be seen, but the town hall is gone. I guess that's just going to have to be. But this would look good right in here, and we could start staggering the roadway off the side a little bit if we want to. <clears throat> or we flip you around. Okay. I can see a little grass strip on the side of the small granary left over there with trees in it. Still a decent pathway. Let's do that. Alright, that works. You three all come in probably prior to the cows. I think we'll do that. You're real close to all the building materials, so I doubt you're going to take long. This whole thing here, everything for, in regard to building materials is made right here. So those should... I wish there was a way to use laborers to bring building materials to a, uh, to a building site. So that other folks, especially during March when they finish sewing, then they can uh, just quickly fill all the building sites up and then just wait for the builders to arrive. That would be great. Okay, so you are here. There is a little bit of a bench in front of it for some reason. So you sit down, lean in. 
I see a wheel, so maybe you rotate the wheel. You know, there is a graphic when these guys use these wells. We rarely ever happen to stumble across that and, and see... Oh, pause. We're doing it right now. Right there. So she pulls it down, goes in, and the everything lifts. And then the rock weight brings it back up for her. So I wonder if there is an animation for that wheel and how that works. In which case, do I want a bench there or do I not? Yeah... Boy, it'd be nice to catch somebody using... Oh, that was so close. Catch somebody using it. <laughs> but they probably won't because they have closer wells to home. So there's no reason to come over here. It's mostly just a really fancy centerpiece. But I'm not sure if they need to... If I can put a bench with his back against it. I probably cannot. So let's just assume that I cannot... Do we use a big bench here? I think we do. So in that case, let's face the well. Um, F and control R a little bit. Facing the well and a little bit of a space. And pop you in there. And you... Turn this way. That looks pretty good. And... I can almost get two back over here. I wonder if they'll use it. Or if we center it. Yeah, something like that. You... Boy, there, so many almost use it. But they're just passing through. And eventually, I'd like to find a way to stop the traffic from wandering through here. Not sure exactly how to do that and make it look right. But with that, we could pop in some... Where are we? Middle of January. Middle of January. Anything happen in the middle of January? Um, I feel like there was some job that I had set up for then. But anyway, what kind of plants go in here? Trees? Bushes? I don't know. I mean, flowers would be great. We have stone going in here. We could, since this is such a quick job... You're there. That's the well. Wooden bridge. Pavement. Make you the next project. Get in there and get this built real quick. I'm guessing some bushes. Maybe some bushes behind the benches. So we've got in bushes, we've got dog rose, which is white. We've got lilac, which is kind of a pink purple color. Um... I'm seeing little whites. We've got Glender Rosebush. I don't know exactly what color that is. It's a big bush, too. So, if we were to put a couple of those in... Maybe this whole little area. Like that. And... Some color in between. Lilac. There. And right in, right in between, or that one, center of that one. And then some dogwood. Like so. We could crowd some in just to get some other colors in there. Or we could put also something like a poplar. Pine, spruce, all the fruits. Ash. I haven't used ash yet. Oh, that's a... <laughs> that's a tree. That's, that's a tree. Yeah. You're a statement piece, but you'll hide a building. Okay. Let's go in with the birch. A little more dainty. They can still walk around it. Yeah, we'll do that. One of you and one of you. All right. Oh, he just planted it. Cool. So, let me know what you think. What can we add? The bell. Where does the bell go back in? The bell might be in the corner right here. That might be. We do have birdhouses. That might be kind of fun over here. Uh, right there. A birdhouse. That's a tree. Maybe both sides of this bench here. Oh, they rotate. Didn't realize that. Um, F. 
right there. So you go away. Rotate you. Birdhouse right there. Village house complete. Good. And I haven't noticed any more. Oh, that's right. The river's frozen. That's why there's not going to be anybody uh, calling on us. Okay, so that's what's up there. We do have one person in each, just kind of waiting. All right, so what are you guys doing or not doing right now? We've got 18 logs. You guys are just sitting around, not really doing anything anymore. Yeah, so that goes away. One person left just to, uh, just to make firewood, and you're no longer going to be cutting any trees down. All right, so we'll have to... Fight the rest of those trees out of there. You, the stone has been cleared out. These two are a red X waiting for you guys, which are never, ever going to do it. So maybe I'll have to stick a well in each of those spots until they, uh, until they take them out. Messenger from Balaklia. Okay, we can deal with that. So we've got these guys set there, there, and there. We are wanting to get into the melt before I shut down, which has got to be in a few minutes. You are building the pathway. Cool. Uh, Balaklia still has probably 20 days. The front of the school is a little more visible. Still have... Oh, we have another person in, another kid in there. Okay. So I do need another school down here soon. What else? Balaklia, let's see what you have got for us. Right there, you want to sell us, and we want to sell you. So let's get the sell you part done first. Honey, yeah, let's do the 200 honey. And that's $20 coming in, deal. You will do clothes, 200 of you. And I need to go back and look at the textile and clothes buildings and see how those are doing right now. Uh, sunflower oil, 500 of you deal. Dried fish. Yeah, we'll do the 150. Deal. So there's four. Flour, 120. Um, do you have wheat to sell us? You don't. Alright, well we'll do the 120. That's why it's there. Deal. There's five out. Let's get something coming in. Iron. And I can't do this while in this screen. There we go. Iron in storage is 282. Pavement is complete up there. Okay, we'll go look at that. Thaw is going to start any day now. Um, so that means there's potentially the um, blacksmith's already filled and the storage has 200 and something. So let's go ahead and get 500 more iron on its way in. And what are we doing? We're at 800 in the treasury. The treasury is slowly going up. So, taxes have balanced out pretty good now. Iron, there's no salt. I'm trying to scroll it. There's nothing to scroll. There's no salt. There's... Don't need any more stone for a while. Though, you could argue it takes a long time to get stone in for something. So, let's go ahead and bring another thousand in. Just to have it in stock somewhere. Okay, so Blockly is done. Are we melting? We are getting there. Uh, we're real close. The water? The water's melted. So I could put in... How are the boats doing? Uh, one's in trouble, the other two. Let's get him started early. We'll pop him in right now. It means I'm going to have to take him out early, but this is where the boats can... The first moment that the boats can be rowed over to be worked on and rowed back. So he'll be there for the whole month of March. These guys won't. They will be helping out with the harvest, which we'll, we'll do next episode. But this, as we melt, we should see more of this. The bushes are going to take a while to leaf out. And the trees, once they start to grow, we'll see more of this. But yeah, that, that look for the front of our town hall. we got to figure out, there needs to be some fences around here somewhere. Uh, maybe a gate at both ends of this. I don't know. And maybe someday, when we get our stone mining going on, we will actually 
you know, once the buildings are fully established, you know, I've known from the beginning these fields were never going to stay here. So from the beginning, that wasn't a thing. Now that we're going to finally set these in permanently, maybe we can put a nice stone path from the bridge all the way up. And then work it through into here and into our town hall and in through our market area. That might be kind of nice. Long term though, little by little, and everybody just quit their jobs and they're, they're all walking in to do what they need to do. Yeah, I think this is probably a good time to stop then. So we'll get to see next time the benefit of all of these people who have just been fired and all they're going to accomplish for us and then go through and kind of balance things out afterward. All right, so we'll call this one finished. Thanks for watching, folks, and I'll catch you later. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.